concert started, so it is my pleasure to bring to you our freshman band, directed by Mrs. Barbara Lieberman and Mr. Matthew Damasi. I hope you enjoy the program this evening. marching bands to bring all the kids back together. Um, so proud of this group in front of you here. Uh, first time up here in the high school. They've adjusted just amazing. I'm really, really proud of them. The piece you just heard was called Amparita Roca. For those who are dancing with the Stars fans, that's Ambassador Dome. And um, it's one of the most famous Spanish marches. It was written in the 1930s. Uh, the next piece that we're going to play is called The Winged Stallion. It's by Rosanna Galante. He's a wonderful composer. He's written a lot of movie scores. As you listen to this, you can kind of feel like that movie 
field as we play it. Um, it has a, uh, two little solos in there, Matt Williams on flute and Frank, um, Frank Ristelli, sorry, on, on trumpet. And um, here's a wing stallion.
say our last piece. Um, I just want to um, thank, I know that Ms. Um, Mardell had mentioned how it takes a village. Um, it doesn't just take a village um, from, from administration and teachers and of course parents. It takes a village to run this army, you know, with the kids. And I have to thank three seniors that constantly sit on this stage with us. We, we have kids in and out all the time during their free periods that want to help out. But um, these, these three kids um, really, really went above and beyond, came to ninth, uh, the ninth grade rehearsals every single day, really, really helped train them, and they're really admired. So I'd love to thank Mr. Jason Lenski, Tom Bailey, and Kayla Clockler. Please give them a hand. Somebody who is not a part-time teacher here, even though he's only here part of the time, he is such a major part of this organization. It would not be the same without him, and it's my pleasure to share the podium with him always. Um, I'd like to introduce Mr. Matthew Damasi. everyone for coming to this uh, spring concert of ours. Uh, this is the freshman band, as you know. Um, they're doing an amazing job, or they have done an amazing job this year. Um, we're so proud of them, uh, how far they've grown from coming into the school at mini, uh, during mini band camp back in August to what you see now. Um, it's been an amazing journey with them so far, and we, we're glad to have three more years with them. Um, our final piece for the freshman band is uh, called um, on the Overland Stage to El Paso, as you can see, uh, in your program. And it's written by David Holsinger, and I'll just tell you a little bit about him, because I'm hoping Ms. P will tell you some more. Um, but Dr. Holsinger um, is what you consider a living legend. Um, he's a composer uh, who has written countless amazing pieces for band, and pretty much has you know shaped um, the world of um, band music. So uh, he works in uh, a college in Tennessee, I believe, and um, we had the privilege of Skyping him with the Wind Ensemble, which you'll, you'll hear probably more about later, but he was a very humble man and uh, very kind, and just one quick fact that we learned, that we all learned, we all kind of thought, what, what instrument does this composer play? We all kind of had our own ideas, and we all thought he plays percussion, or a lot of us thought he plays percussion, because you'll see and hear so many different uh, rhythms being played and a lot of percussion instruments and his music is very percussive. However, he's not a percussionist and I'll leave the guessing up to you as to what instrument he plays. So try to listen, maybe you'll, you'll hear some clues, but um, uh, maybe there'll be a test at the end. So I hope you enjoy uh, Old Singer's Paso.
And now, may I introduce to you our symphonic band directed by both Mrs. Barbara Lieberman and Mr. DeMassey. But before they come out, I just wanted to share with you that the first piece is going to be conducted by two of our drum majors, Catherine D. Maria and Anthony Melizia. Thank you. by Alfred Reed. Um, and he's like one of the, well he is, one of the fathers of wind literature. This is a great, great standard uh, piece of literature. Uh, the march and this piece is one of the pieces that we'll be playing next Tuesday when we go to the NISMA adjudication. 
And uh, really, just really proud of you guys. Just like listening to you guys and, and the hard work you do. Um, and that, now I bring you a festival prelude.
Good evening once again. Uh, the symphonic band's uh, final piece is called Danzas Cubanas, and uh, it's a medley of three Cuban dance-inspired pieces um, by Robert Sheldon. Uh, we actually had the privilege of emailing a little bit with this composer also, and uh, he was very gracious in responding to our questions about the nuances in the music. So um, I hope that we will give you um, a, like the Cuban flair that this piece is supposed to have, and I hope that you guys have as much fun listening to it as we have preparing it and playing it for you. So this is Dantes Cubanas by Robert Sheldon.
And now it's my pleasure to bring to you our phenomenal wind ensemble directed by Ms. Gina Pelletieri. Our first piece will be conducted by two of our drum majors, Alexander Felker and Jamie Lagatuda. <laughs> watch the drum majors conduct and not on an eight foot command center really do nuances I'm so proud of Kiki Anthony and Jamie and Alex I'm like a proud mom watching you guys really really great I'd like to take this time to acknowledge some standouts we had 28 students make all county just from Wind Ensemble so all county students can you please stand up represent us at uh, New York Allstate in Rochester, and that's on trombone Alex Felker and on trombone Jason Lenski. Yeah. We had four students represent us at All Eastern in Pittsburgh. Joe Gerasi on tuba, Eric Sattler on bass clarinet, Alex Felker on trombone, and Jason Lenski on trombone. <laughs> one is we had two students represent us at All National in Orlando and that is Eric Sattler on bass clarinet and Anthony Melizia made it on tenor sax. <laughs> two more 
special shout outs. We have the honor and the privilege to have our not only our salutatorian, but our valedictorian in this ensemble as well. On French horn, salutatorian Jessica Finkel. <laughs> The next piece we're going to perform is Claude T. Smith's Eternal Father, Strong to Save, and it was premiered in 1975 for the 50th anniversary U.S. Navy Band. You're going to hear a beautiful fanfare in the beginning, and then a fugue, and then the most incredible horn chorale you will ever hear. It's four-part horn chorales, and uh, it's the Navy hymn. It's going to be beautiful. We hope you enjoy our rendition of Claude T. Smith's Eternal Father Strong to Save. Thank you. 
so much. It's, that was an honor to conduct them on that. It's such a major work, and they, they did a great job. Great job, Horns. Very good job. So, really quick, I just wanted to say how proud I am to be working in this district. And 13 years ago, I was so lucky to be hired here. And to see what it has become in those 13 years is, is just mind-blowing to me as I sat in those that seat and I listen to the freshmen, freshmen, you have exceeded our expectations and just fit right in with our band family. It truly is special and now you're officially part of it and freshmen, thank you so much. 80 of you always do the right thing every single day and you're beautiful human beings and amazing musicians as well. That symphonic band, you guys blew me away. You really, really did. I we we should put that the, the symphonic band up against any other Long Island wind ensemble, and they will come up on top. Because that was amazing. That was an amazing performance. Really, really great. And then when we put them all together in marching band, it is truly a force to be reckoned with. Band camp, September 19th to 21st. Parents, chaperones. It's going to be amazing. The future is looking bright. We have over 87 freshmen coming in for next year, so all is right. It's a very special program. I'm truly inspired by my colleagues, Matt Damasi and Barbara Lieberman, what they do with these kids is very inspirational. And speaking of inspirational, this ensemble behind me, I, like I said, 13 years, I really, this ensemble is one of the finest I've ever had. Um, was piece you're about to hear by David Holsinger in the spring at the time when Kings go off to war was when I was in high school just a dream piece I was semi obsessed with the piece and as I got through college and even got my first job in, in a middle school and then at Farmingdale High School it was just always like a stretch a goal and I've never had the ensemble to do it until now these kids are amazing we skyped with David Holsinger from Lee University and the first thing he said, right, I'm not making this up, is, I forgot how hard I wrote this. I can't, I had to study my own score. Because it truly is, it's very difficult. It's, it's the equivalent of uh, English department reading War and Peace. It's one of the hardest in the manual. And uh, Dr. Boonchaff, Dr. Peter Boonchaff, director of Antrim Hofstra University, did a workshop with us and he's like, you are crazy. No high school does this piece. And I was like, Farmingdale High School will do this piece and it will be great. And, and he said, right, I'm not making this up, that he was proved wrong by the two hours that he spent with this group. He said they're absolutely remarkable. But I didn't need him to tell me that, I already knew. <laughs> it is truly amazing. I told them today to stand in front of them. I'm so lucky. I cannot wait to premiere the, this piece to you. David Holsinger, told us that it was uh, based on an Old Testament, Chronicle 20. And uh, just to make, a, to make it short, it's King David's army going, uh, his nephew Joab went into the to Ammonites and retrieved the crown and brought it back triumphantly to Jerusalem. But I don't want to misquote him because David Holsinger, I, I just want to tell you what you're going to hear. What you're going to hear is a portrayal of that. And there are going to be certain emotions that hopefully you feel, if we do it right. And um, basically he, he wove a to tonal picture of, in the description of the war, some, some words. Chaos, hopefully, chaos, grief, sadness, triumph, tragedy, and faith. And we want you to feel all of those tonight. So I cannot wait to play this piece for you. David Holsinger's In the Spring at the Time When Kings Go Off to War.